what we do as well is like in Holland as well, even Olympic champions want to have our eyes, it's 30 minutes technical drills, one hour training. Yeah, and then your drills coming back in your training. Because technique is the most important. But you have to repeat it, repeat it, repeat it to get better. Yeah? So you did already warm up. <clears throat> well, we start doing it. Right now it's just in one group. We start with one minute outside, not too wide, but it's outside. And then we do one minute track. Just easy skating. What I want to see is just basic position. Yeah? First of all, try to sit in your glute. Yeah, make it run. Make sure you stay with the hips. Weight transfer from here is important. From here. No shoulder movement. No, this is skill. Everything comes from here. Long foot. When you go in, you have to go straight in. Left has to be behind. Come under your body. You have to lean in the right and have to really fall to the left. Stay on it from there and then you continue to go over it. Everything goes to the inside, don't go up. And it's like a slow motion of skating, slow motion of movement. You have to feel what you're doing. Yeah? I'm just gonna try with that. Same in the corner, and just people are coming there and then dropping forward. Huh? Doing this and then they're falling forward. And then you see your body position is changing. Then you sit here, you have to stay in the, in the, in the middle. And go to the front. You stay on top of the blade. So this is, if it's difficult to skate slow, but if you can skate slowly in a good technique, if you go faster, it's getting easier because you get more speed. And with more speed, you get easier balance. You know, the same on the bike. If you try to slalom really slow, it's harder. Then you go a little bit faster, make it a little bit more easy. It's the same with skating. We have to keep working on that. Just gonna do it one more time. We have uh, one more minute rest, and we can do it again. Yeah.
hand forward. So I just show it one more, uh, one straight away. What I want to see. In the corner, you can just straight up. You come straight away. Make the shelf small. just go straight then you straight away make it shorter if you go skate wide you open everything so that's why with the shoulders if you go that way with the shoulders your your point is direction is out so with no pressure you may mean if this is going straight it goes to the side you know, everything goes forward yeah do it one more time. It's better. Walk from your left. Lean in. It's a bit better. Stay low. More. More on the side of your blade. Just a static hold. Yeah, straight away. We have left and right, doesn't matter where. So you build up some speed. Then what you do is back forward. Yeah. Okay. Come back. Make sure you knee is with the with the ankle. Straight up. 
Somebody. What you think? Where you start? Where you start to turn? Yeah. So if you start to turn on the block, you're too late because then you come out here. Yeah. And if it's shorter, you come there. Now it's quite big, so it's easy to make the next one. But if you make it shorter and you, and you start to turn on the block, then probably the, the, the setup will be here, and you're too late. So you already start turning before the block, and then directly you're already you're ready to go on the block. So make sure you're already lean before the block. Everybody start to lean. Yeah. Then you time to come back on the outside to the inside again. Yeah. Spread out. Give it a try. I'm so scared Over and over again and again Of these monsters Over and over again and again I'm so scared We ever see the end this is on stars over and over again and again. Too much tense, yeah. And if it's too much tense, the feeling is that you don't have to condition, don't have to strength. But if you block everything, you're, you're tight, yeah, too tight, you okay. know. And then if you block everything, then there's no relaxation, yeah, you have to be relaxed. And then it's getting, yeah. then it's getting easy. And that comes with the time, or it, it comes with the time, uh, definitely. It's, a, it's something that they could like uh, learning to ride the bike, yeah. it's something that goes yeah, with yeah, the time, yeah. but they have Talk to the time, and some, some of them they pick it up quite quickly, okay. it can be quite uh, fast and others take a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. But they, they need to practice and practice and practice, yeah, right? They practice. Okay. Yeah. Okay, how it feels? Hard. Hard. Why is hard? Because you need to stay deep yeah. and then it's yeah. too much. But what you see that everybody is quite, quite uh, intense. So it's the stay Yeah. Yeah. I give you really like doing this, if everything is tense, then the strongest man can't do it. Znači, ako ste stegnuti, ni najjači ne može da uradi ovo to najduže. This is a movement, have to be relaxed. You have to get, let, let it go. Da ste opušteni. It feels so much easier. And then you don't need so much strength for it. And basically, you can practice it, like, if just on a straightaway, like, when you just relax, different kind of sports and feeling on the on, especially for ice that's what you need and that's why a shorter skater is so easy to jump over to a long track but from long track to short track it's really difficult because they always have straight long blades 
Nee, nou, agility. Short track is agility. You need to play. That and everything what you do, even if it's not skating, everything what you do, you will get better. Because from here, you start to get that feeling. And that's what you need. So even if you don't have so much size, you can learn a lot of ice. Because your brains are setting up, and you can then you can practice it on ice. Do it one more time, yeah? Then we go to the next one. Then we can make two two person relay. Yeah. I just do it three times, two laps skating. Yeah, it's not too long. And then I'll set out the, the track. What we're gonna do is in one corner is just static hold. Yeah? Just on the left. But what you're gonna do, you hold my hand. Yep. You just from here, now I, you feel nothing now. Yeah? But if I start to press, you, you, you almost don't see a movement, but he feels that I'm pressing. Yeah? And that's what, it, what you have to learn. Malo pre ja nisam osjećao ništa, ali kad je krenuo da gura nogom i da se naginje, onda poprilično me vuče. So with the static hold, I mean that you're not doing just here and do nothing, but you start to push already, really slow. But so when, you, when you're done with the corner, you still can generate speed. If you only do this, you lose speed, you slow down. But if you're still pushing, you still go faster. So that's important. Always when you're when you're placing your blade, you always start to push directly. Because when you start to push, you're gliding, you can steer, so you can decide what you do. There is no pressure, your blade goes out. Yeah, you can, really? can steer. See? So we start with that one, and later on I put some extra blocks. On the left, try to on the left, try to lean. This is a little bit easier. Your left. If you just from here, you can have this one here. Yeah, and you can lean on it. But from the right, it can be a little bit more difficult. But try to have it there. Yeah, in this position. Because you're finish it up. One. Basically, what you're doing, what I'm trying to show, when you go on from the right, like that. Yeah, you just finish it straight away.
do is just a relay with one is three person, the other is four person. If you're going deep, just, just, only what you have to do is just normal skating what you are used to. Yeah. But only what I do is the entry is important. If you go in too tight, come out wide. If you go in deep, it's a good setup, good lean. So basically what you have to do, that's the apex block. But you have to change the apex block to the next one, to the number five. If you're on top of that one, then you have the good line. Because then you come out close to the blocks. If you're already on top of the apex, already on the block, most of the time you go straight. Because the speed is too high to get a good turn. So you, you leave the, the gap open and people can pass you. So make sure you go straight in. And straight in is straight. What you really learn in the straightaway, just sit here. And I saw everybody can do that. So just straight in, not to the board. Because if you go to the board, people jump in. Yeah? Okay, we're gonna do uh, two laps, each person. And we do it uh, four times for each. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, not from here. A lot of people just doing finish it up and bring it back from here. You can't lean with this. Yeah, you block everything. You can bring it here, you can have more relaxation. Also for just, or is it a split second, there is some blood flowing. If here there is no blood flow, because everything is tight. If it's here, it's a little bit relaxation for your blood. And from there, you can have a long lean, a long pressure on your right. So here you lean directly on the right, and then it's coming. Znači, you, mora it's, here, here, it's no pressure. Let's work on that. So um, you're, he's already asking uh, what I think about you. Uh, it's not a waste of time. You know, there's still a lot of work to do. Uh, the most of the basic is quite good, but now it's getting from the small details to get better. And it's also, you, you can sit down and think, okay, the trainer has to tell me, and then I'm gonna do it, and then we'll see. But there's also something you have to come from yourself. You know, you have to uh, think about what you have to improve and what you want to improve and you can discuss it with your trainer and then you should can start working on it. That's already what I said on the ice, it's everything is in your mind. Yeah? If you keep thinking on it, if you watch a video and then you get try to get a feeling as well. Maybe uh, you heard you heard before that uh, that people especially in long track, you know, they have a race in their in the hat and they keep closing your eyes and they're just sitting and they go to the start and they skate the whole race just in their head and they have a time and they said okay this is this time when I gonna skate and then they come close to the personal best because that's what they're thinking so they're almost like one tenth two tenths in their head skating the perfect race and that's what you can do just a feeling no? where you sit where you have to push when you have to push how you enter the corner what, what, what's your exit Everything can you already thinking about it? What's your body position? What's your what's your movement? What you're doing? Your arm swing, all those things. It's important. So we 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 will uh, keep working on this for this week. No, and then you will uh, probably you have a somewhere a feeling like hmm, I'm not improving. And that's the part. Okay, you will let it go. You uh, just fuck it, or you think no, now I have to work a little, maybe a little bit harder to get to make the next step. But you're always doing this, you're always doing this, Just never do this. You always you make, maybe, maybe, maybe you make the next platform, you stay on it, maybe you go a little bit down, and then you make the next step. You go a little bit down, then you make the next step. It's always going up and down. And that's part of the sport that makes it interesting. And I, I'm here to help you guys, and I think you can ask questions. 
I can check some materials if you want. I can better on that you can learn from it. No? Learn to sharp, learn to bend, learn to use a gauge. All those things where you have to work on because when I'm gone, probably then you have some questions. So it's better to have some questions ready on, on forehand. You can think about some questions, what you want to learn from that, all those things. And probably when I come back somewhere at the end of February, you know, then we can check it again. I think it makes it interesting. But do everybody know, know me a bit? Where I come from? Uh, what I was doing? For my career? I was a former short track skater as well. Um, I was for 18 years in the national team. So in 2006 I uh, retired. And then uh, I started to do uh, uh, training as an assistant from national team. Till 2010. And from that I get my own team uh, like a junior development team from the national uh, from the Netherlands and then basically that's still what I'm doing like they the, the federation stopped the national teams from juniors because they thought when we make a regional a regional teams they have now three regional teams in Holland if we start to work with that we can maybe uh, get more talent skaters on a higher level and uh, so it, it works out pretty good so that we get more talent skaters because there are more facilities for more people. And that's basically what I'm doing now. So uh, like Maya, my most, most interested skater was uh, of course Suzanne. I worked with her for five years. She moved up to the national team and then in two, two years she uh, won Olympic uh, gold. So uh, that's the most uh, interesting thing. But also work with Shinky Knecht. I work with everybody from the beginning, because in 2006 there was nothing left in Holland. Yeah, we have a bunch of skaters. We drop, uh, maybe for your country it's big, but for us country we, we drop back to 250 skaters for short track. And in four or six years time, we bring it back up to 1100 skaters. 11,000 short track. So in 2006 there was nothing left. We just said, okay, we just make a national training center in Heerveen. And we just start with the, the leftovers from the talent skaters and we start from there. And we make a, we make a goal and everybody believes in it. And we said, okay, this is the train. Who want to join us? Step on the train and we just go for it. And then, from 2006 to 2010, we already made a huge step, but not two teams, but only one team from the, from the relay. And from 2010 to 2014, we win the first medals. So it can be really quick if you just believe in your in, in, in goals as well. You have to do it together. And, and we'll just work hard, because everybody's work hard. And everybody had a feeling pain somewhere after a training. It's not only you. And if you think you're tired, in other countries people are also tired from training. And then it's mental, okay. Do you give up or just continue? And that's the that's the that's the the last step. The mental part is the most important in especially in the top. Because everybody has the condition, everybody has the technique, everybody has the tactical skating, but the mental thing is the last part. And who's the best in that one, he can win the most medals. Yeah?